Today we are trying to synthesize ammonia from its elements. The synthesis is also known as the Haber-Bosch process. I have set up this apparatus for this purpose. To begin with, I will show you how I build it. So let's get to the chopper. First I made the flame tube. Copper wool is used as a flashback arrestor. I cast a silicone stopper from two component silicone to secure the flame tube using a pipe clamp. I then build a low profile lab burner from a camping gas stove. Just a tip, when drilling aluminium, isopropanol is particularly suitable as a lubricant in coolant. Off camera, I used a router to cut a groove in a plastic kitchen board. I used so-called C-profiles made from aluminium for M8 nuts as a fastening system. A frame for the vertical construction of the apparatus was then screwed together from aluminium mounting profiles. Once again, C profiles were used as the fastening elements. Pipe clamps from the DIY store were used to attach all the glassware. They are much cheaper than lab clamps and are available for every pipe diameter. Here you can see the quartz glass tube. The catalyst and the hydrogen and nitrogen flowing through it are later heated in this tube. You may be wondering why I don't just use lab stands and clamps. The reason is that the whole thing is not without danger because of the hydrogen. No lap stand should tip over, no clamp should come loose and no hose should come off. 
I'll show the rest of the construction of the apparatus without commentary in fast motion before I explain how it works. Okay, let me now explain the apparatus. That is a gas generator that supplies the necessary hydrogen. The hydrogen is fed through a drying tube. The dried hydrogen is then passed through the quartz tube. The catalyst will be later located in the tube and will be strongly heated together with the gases. Pure nitrogen is supplied in portions via the gas syringe. The synthesized ammonia is passed through a gas washing bottle which will later contain a detection reagent. The excess of hydrogen is finally ignited at the flame tube. About 50 grams of chopped zinc sheet is required to produce the necessary hydrogen. You also need about 50% sulfuric acid. A little copper sulfate is dissolved in it, which accelerates the hydrogen production. I use the Bacillot's reagent to detect the ammonia. Ammonia reacts with the Bacillot reagent to form a blue product, which is normally used in a colometric method for the determination of ammonia. It's very sensitive. It is important to keep in mind that only very small amounts of ammonia are synthesized with this setup. A catalyst is required to synthesize ammonia from its elements. Molecular nitrogen is very inert due to its triple bond. The binding energy is 942 kJ per mole. That means that at least 1000 degrees Celsius is required to break the bonds or a catalyst that reduces the activation energy. As a catalyst I use three parts by volume of fine iron powder and one part by volume of aluminium oxide. The two catalyst components are mixed in a suitable container and then placed in a so-called ceramic combustion boat. The ceramic combustion boat should be placed in a quartz tube exactly above the burner. The entire apparatus is now floated with nitrogen to drive the atmospheric oxygen out of the system. If this is not done, a severe oxyhydrogen explosion can occur. The 
gas syringe is now carefully filled with pure nitrogen and the pinch valve is closed. As a final preparation before synthesis, the gas generator's dropping funnel is filled with the sulfuric acid. Once the hydrogen production has started properly, the escaping hydrogen is ignited. The flame is clearly visible due to impurities in the copper wool. The burner is now heated up vigorously. Now nitrogen is slowly added via the gas syringe. If the hydrogen flame extinguishes, it is immediately reignited. After a few minutes, the bezel loads reagent turns blue. So we synthesized a very small amount of ammonia from its elements, using the Haber-Bosch process. The industrial Haber-Bosch process of course uses much higher pressures and better catalysts, which greatly increases the yield. As always, thank you very much for watching. Stay true, stay you. And be sure, I'll be back.